Today, I will talk about brand new update for the files app. We are currently in the version 3.9.9 of the preview version of the files app. Now, files app is the file explorer replacement and you guys can install it if you go here on their website and you guys can download the stable version and down below you will find the insider preview version. Now, this new release, which is in the preview, has a brand new icon and you guys can see it's right here in my taskbar it looks absolutely beautiful compared to for example to the file explorer you can see here the actual difference now you can also see here the app icon here in my start menu i think that the visual difference between the files app and the file explorer is night and day files app in my opinion looks way better they also have some fixes in this release for example they have fixes for some shortcuts start menu tile and also properties window now, this is not all because the files app is way better than before. With the addition of the new icon, we also have this really nice design to this application. If I open the file explorer here side by side, now here on the left, we can see the files app. On the right, we can see the default file explorer app. I think that both are functional. However, the files app looks way better. As you can see here, if I click on it, you can see here this really nice gradient effect here on the top bar. This file explorer app also has one. However, it isn't as prominent as you can see here. Now you can see also here the local disk C. We can see here how many of the actual gigabytes are free with this thin line. And this compared to the file explorer representation of this, I think this one looks way, way better. Now, if I go, for example, here to the downloads folder, you can see here how nice the UI looks like here. We have this rounded corners around this white space as well as here on top, we have this really clean design. If you go here to the settings, you can also change the appearance of the files app. This is something that you cannot actually do in the file explorer. So if you click here on the appearance, you can change the theme here from default to dark, for example, or to the light. Now you can also change the backdrop. So currently set to Mika Alt. However, you can also change this to acrylic and you can see here how this top bar actually changed. Now, if we go back here to the appearance, appearance, we can change the background color as well. We can go with the blue one. Then down below, if you want, you can also add background image. And down below, we also have some of the toolbars. As for example, show home button in the address bar. If I enable this, you can see here the address bar. And now we also have here the home bar, which will redirect us here to the home page. Now in this app, you can also change the layout. So really cool thing is that you have here this option layout type. And currently this is set to adaptive layout. However, you can change this to details for example, if I go here to the downloads folder, you can see what this looks like. And here, if I go back to the layout options, let's change this to, let's say the grid. And now if I go back, you can see here how this icon looks like. And we also have here this really nice rounded corners around it. Now here under the files and folders, you have pretty much a ton of the features as well. Like hidden items, you can pretty much hide the items. You can also show protected system files, show alternate data streams and also show hidden files and folders. Now, down below, if you scroll down, you can also change here behavior options like opening items. For example, you can open items with a single click. You can also open folders with a single click in the columns layout as well as open folders in new tab. Now, let's say if I enable these two features. Now, you will see right now, if I click on the file, it should open it. And you can see that I have here the installer up and running. And let's go here to the folders as well. For example, if I go here to the home and maybe local disk C, if I click, for example, with one single click on the folder, this will open folder as well, as you can see. Now, down below, we can also change the size format, which is currently set to binary but you can also change this to decimal if you prefer it so. Now, if you go here under developer tools, you can also connect this app to the GitHub and you can also see here the button open IDE in the status bar as well, which I think is also really nice addition to the files application. Now, if you want, you can also make this app as your default file manager. You can see here that this option modifies the system registry and can have unexpected side effects on your device. Continue 
you at your own risk, but it's actually not recommended by the developer itself. So you guys will have to decide if you prefer a clean UI or slightly worse UI, but better performance using the default file explorer application. Yes, I forgot to mention, but this app has a slightly worse performance compared to the default file explorer. So in my opinion, the files app is slightly slower compared to the original file explorer app. However, I think it has some of really cool additional UI features and whole UI looks way better compared to the default file explorer. Now on top here, you will also find this really nicely designed buttons for cut, copy, rename, also share, maybe put it to the bin or even open the properties. And the properties window looks like this. And this is also one another thing which I think it's really cool to see in this files application that the whole UI is way more refined compared to the default file explorer. So here on the right is the properties window in the file explorer and here on the right is the properties window inside the files app. The design is of course night and day and hopefully Microsoft can learn something from this and try to make the UI more modern but like it's 2010 and we still have this old looking properties window on Windows 11 in 2025. So yeah I think that this is pretty much it for this application. As I mentioned, its only drawback is it's a bit slow at times. And uh, yeah, the new icon looks also very, very nice indeed. So yeah, I will leave the link for this application in the video description down below so you guys can download it. And if you guys are interested in this wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you can check out in the video description below. With that said, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.